Welcome back everyone, in today's video we're diving into an exciting topic using rectangular supportive lights to enhance interior lighting. We'll explore how these lights can be a powerful tool in creating realistic and captivating scenes. But that's not all. We'll also take a closer look to adjusting the local exposure in the post-process volume effect to achieve even better results. So whether you're an aspiring level designer or a seasoned Unreal Engine enthusiast, Get ready to unlock the secrets of captivating interior lighting and take your scenes to the next level. So let's jump right in. All right, as you might have noticed in the outliner section, I got two rectangular lights in this scene. So let me just hide them and unhide them so you better understand how they can create pretty good highlights in this scene and how they acting like a supportive light in my interior space. So. Let's just go to the outside of this scene and replace the rectangular lights again so you'd better understand the process of placement of these supportive lights. So actually it's not a big deal, just rotating and moving the actor. And now that we've placed our rectangular light in the right place, so let's adjust its dimensions to something like 150 to 200 would be okay because we don't want to have sharp lighting effects. We want to have kind of soft lights, okay? And now that we're okay with the dimensions of it, let's make a copy and place it on the, the window that we got in the right side. And let's just go back to the camera view that we've placed on the interior side. All right, now it is time to set an appropriate amount for the intensity of these lights that we've placed and in this project, we've used the lumens as the lighting units. So I'm going to set the intensity to something like 100, I think would be okay for this case. And just look at the highlights that we've created using these rectangular lights. I'm going to do the same process and change the units to lumen. And let's set the intensity to 100. And there we go. And let me just show you the difference when we place the lights. You can see how we got so super perfect highlights by using these rectangular lights. But if you want to get even better results of this, make sure to check this cast ray tracing shadows and set it on use project settings. And let's just go to the project settings and check the ray traced shadows. It's in the edit tab and in the engine section, we got this rendering category and let's scroll down. And yes, in the hardware ray tracing section, just make sure to check this ray traced shadow option. It might be a bit expensive and causes heavy loads on your GPU, but in terms of shadows, it would be a real game changer and you would get super realistic shadows in your projects. And now that we're on the lighting of an interior project, let's get close to it from a different approach. And that is the local exposure section in the post-process volume effect. This section allows you to adjust exposure values for specific areas or objects in your scene independently from the global exposure settings. In the first parameter, we got highlight contrast scale, which allows you to control the contrast of bright areas in the scene, making them appear more pronounced or subdued, which in this case, I prefer to reduce it to something like 0.9 and got less contrast in the highlight areas. And the second parameter is shadow contrast scale. On the other hand, controls the contrast of dark areas in the scene. And I want to decrease it to have kind of softened the contrast in the dark areas. And then we have detail strength, which influences the strength of local exposure adjustments in areas with fine details. And increasing this value can enhance the visibility of intricate details, which I want to set it to something like 1.5 or maybe 1.25 would be perfect in this case. And Thanks for joining me in this video on using rectangular lights and adjusting local exposure in Unreal Engine. I hope you found these techniques helpful in enhancing your interior lighting. Remember to experiment and play with different settings to achieve your desired results. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content. Stay creative and see you in the next video.